Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K release of Eli Roth's The House with a Clock in Its Walls. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter at Movie Guy 365. Yes, The House with a Clock in Its Walls. The latest film from director Eli Roth, uh, I'll admit it, I really like the trailer for this and that alone with Eli Roth's name got me into the theater. You know, I'm not, I'm not a huge Jack Black fan. I do appreciate his like more ensemble stuff, but his standalone stuff I'm not really into, but I, I did want to see it. It looked like an interesting premise. It definitely looked more like uh, geared towards younger audiences. But, you know, Kate Blanchett, um, you know, that's enough right there also to just get me to check it out. And I, I, I did see it theatrically. It was, it was good. It was, it was fine. It was about what I expected, if that makes any sense. I was kind of hoping for a more of a, I don't know, like a Jumanji Night at the Museum kind of film. And there's a little bit of that. But overall, it's, it's, it's fine on its own. It's, it's a... You know, it's not something that is genre breaking or anything like that, but it's a good time at the theater is the best way I can describe it. So I did want to uh, pick up the 4K, give it a good review and see how it looked and sounded. I'm happy to say the HDR is very nice in this. It is a is a darker movie by nature as far, you know, as opposed to like, you know, a lot of it is interior shot. There's a, a, a quite a bit of nighttime scenes, only a handful of scenes that you're really you know, in the daylight. So for the most part this movie takes place indoors inside this house. And you know, the exterior, a lot of those are night shots. It looks good. It actually has, it provides, the HDR provides a lot of detail. Uh, darkness is, is very uh, lush and abundant. It's just, it's, it's dark when it needs to be. And there's a lot of color also that floats around this movie as well. And it, it really takes advantage of, of the HDR. Interior wise, especially the house and also even though the scene was in the trailers uh, The scene with the uh, the pumpkins was was actually one of the highlights for me. It looked really good. It actually is a nice looking disc it is uh, You know typical typically universal can kind of be hit or miss depending on their uh, On their on their individual movie, but I felt this one was a nice looking disc. There's it was also shot at 2.8 and I believe it was down converted to two and then you know re-up for for a 4k it it looks good it does look good i kind of wonder you know despite like being effects heavy if that was probably the right call i think you know even though you could have finished i think at four maybe the 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 cgi would have stood out too much but i i thought it was okay i found it i felt that it did blend very well into the into the movie itself audio wise Another another good one. It's it's a good Dolby Atmos. There's a lot going on with the house itself and the things that happen. You know, from the furniture and that kind of thing moving around to the little creaks and crawlies that you can hear in the speakers. It sounds good. It actually does sound very immersive. A very very immersive kind of uh, experience. It's one I would recommend listening to on a surround sound system. I think you would lose quite a bit if you watch it through the TV. But if that's your only option, you know. Just, just know that if you do decide to go the surround sound route, it's it you're in for a good experience as well. It sounds very good. So overall, House with a Clock in Its Walls, it's it's a fun, enjoyable movie. It is for the whole family. You know, there are there are a couple, you know, adult themes going on, especially have to do with the time of the time period that it takes place in. But it's something that isn't it isn't doesn't bog down the movie, but it is a very enjoyable film. It's something you could watch literally year round. It's not just like a, a Halloween movie or anything like that. But yeah, I, I would recommend this as a pickup. It's, it sounds great. It looks, it looks very good. HDR does its job really nicely and it's got a very enjoyable cast. And I think Eli Roth did a very good job. It's not one of his best films by far, but it's, it's good for what it is. And, you know, I, I'm very curious to hear what your thoughts are. Please, you know, leave your comment down below. And please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thank you very much for any help you can give me. It would be appreciated. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.